rise and shine East Texas. You're watching KETK Today. And welcome back in. We're tracking showers and storms across the area uh, this morning as they continue to make their way into East Texas. Could bring some 30 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts over into Athens, down to Canton within the next uh, few minutes here, or at least the, gust, uh, the gusty winds have now uh, moved into Canton. So Van, Chandler, Mineola equipment, you're next to see the winds uh, picking up just a little bit here. Uh, again, 30, 40 mile per hour winds. That's below severe limits, but still can do some, uh, knock down some twigs and things like that. Maybe knock out power for a few folks out there this morning, uh, but not expecting any widespread issues with these showers and storms. Uh, there will be some heavy rain associated with them as well, so just use that extra caution on the roadways. No reports of flooding at this time, though, here locally. Uh, but if you are heading towards the uh, Metroplex this morning, there has been a, a flood advisory issued there. So uh, just use that extra caution on the roads. Taking a look at what Futurecast has in store for us, here's 8 o'clock in the morning. The line of storms still pushing through the area, and that'll be the case through 10 o'clock in the morning as well. Could see additional thunderstorms developing out ahead of the main activity thanks to the, the continued heating of the daytime hours. Uh, but for the most part, the storms will be at their strongest once they uh, move into Louisiana. Although, again, we could see additional redevelopment heading into the early afternoon hours in portions of the Toledo Bend area. But by 2 o'clock in the afternoon, things are drying out for the most part. Could see maybe one or two showers and storms developing into the mid afternoon hours. Uh, but for the most part, things are drying out, and then we'll see the clouds clearing out by 9 o'clock in the evening. Temperature wise, right now we're in the 70s out ahead of the, the line of storms, 74 in Tyler, 73 in Lufkin. It's 67, though, in Dallas. So we will get a brief uh, cool down as this line of storms uh, pushes through the area. High temperatures today. Ranging from the low 80s along Interstate 30 down into the mid to upper 80s into uh, deep east Texas and the Toledo Bend area. Uh, winds will be out of the north at about 5 miles per hour. Here's a look at your seven day forecast now. We are going to see. A chance of some isolated showers and storms in a two of the weekend, but no major concerns expected. And then as we head into the start of the week, we are going to see those high temperatures in a two of the mid 90s by Monday and Tuesday. For deep east Texas, it is more of the same there. Highs uh, will be gradually warming back up as we head into next week. We're talking about the potential is there for deep east Texas, especially by next Tuesday and Wednesday, uh, to see the high temperatures all the way in to the upper 90s. Out there, so we get some relief from the heat today and tomorrow, but it will not be lasting that long. Ooh, I kind of like the relief though. I like when it's a little cloudy and I can just stay yes. home and watch TV. That was how I felt yesterday. It was nice. And the rain makes me sleep like a baby. Yes. Like, oh, I can so probably sleep all day long. Problem is, it's hard to wake up for work the next morning. So yeah. <laughs> maybe if it could just rain at night and then the morning it'd be nice and, and nice and clear. That would be better. Yes. Yeah. It would be the opposite for us today, though. It's more rain in the morning and then too dry out for yeah. the afternoon. Anything, all right. So. Well, we'll take it. We'll yeah. take it. Thank yeah. you very much, Andrew. We appreciate you and your forecast.